so today we're going to make a zoetrope. A what? A zoetrope. If you don't know what that is, stick around. I think you'll find it interesting. So in order to make the zoetrope, I'm going to need slots cut in the top. And I was trying to figure out how to cut all the way around this thing. And then it occurred to me I might have the perfect tool for that right here in the shop. So now for the complicated part. How do I hold this like this safely and securely? This is actually the block of wood that the middle plywood came out of. And if I just line this up, that is not going anywhere. I'm going to knock off these corners on the bandsaw before we mount it on the lathe. Uh, I am a little nervous about this. A little nervous about it all holding together here. Mostly because I've got that opening on the other end and uh, to break off these pieces. Because without these I don't have a zoetrope. I just have a cup. And then I'll turn this end around and see what we get. And all I can say is, I hope this works. It appears to be cutting. And I need to hollow almost all the way down. So I'm going to be hollowing to very close to the bottom here. What happens, I guess? I think that I think it's still too thick. Okay, that's about as thin as I'm going. I think we made it past the hard part. Um, let's hollow out the rest of this monster. see it is really light it's a very very light at this point which is good that's what I want I'm just gonna clean that up on the sander real fast I've got these as thin as I'm capable of making them I think it's still too thick so what if I put a bevel in a way they're almost like arrow slits okay and I just need to put a finish on it Okay, and this is just boiled linseed oil, and we're just gonna... Okay, so only the other thing you need is an animation. I found this one online when I did a search for zoetropes, and all you have to do happens to overlap a little, and you've got yourself an animation wheel. We'll stick it inside and see how it looks. That's all there is to it. You want light coming down from the top. It really helps. And there they go. Running horses. Be free, wild horses. Here it is, our completed zoetrope. And uh, it's really cool. This project was 90% terror, 
4% excitement and 6% gnashing of teeth. And beveling the inside of the slits here uh, made a huge difference on being able to see the animation. I need to stop playing with it. If this is your first time with me, I want to thank you very much for watching. My goal is to make things that will stimulate your imagination and give you ideas for other projects. So I also have a vlog channel if you're into those sort of things. There's a link for that down in the description. I hope to have some more interesting ideas coming down the pipe soon. <laughs>